friends, welcome to a new vlog. If you are new here, my name is Kim. I am a second grade teacher in West Michigan and it is Monday morning. I need to get logged into my computer. So I'm gonna do that a quick moment, but it is Monday morning. I have a lot to do. I feel like I did a lot this weekend. Also, I just typed in my old password. Oops, okay, let's try this again. I feel like I did a lot this weekend. I had a training that I needed to do online that I am getting paid for, but I had to do it like outside of contract hours since I'm getting paid for it. So it was a six hour training. I had already done like one hour of it and I did the rest of it yesterday. So five hours of training. Actually, I did a little bit, I think on Saturday, maybe like another hour. But still, that's like four hours of training yesterday. So yes, that took me quite a while, but I needed to have it done by this upcoming weekend, like next weekend. So I just wanted to like get it out of the way so I didn't have to worry about it being like close to the deadline or anything like that. So that took up a big chunk of my day yesterday. And then yeah, just like planning for the week. I feel like it's taking me so much longer every single week because I'm just getting used to this new grade as I've mentioned in like every single vlog. I feel like I feel like a broken record a little bit, but Anyways, it is going to be a good week. This week is camping themed because our main selection for our reading curriculum is all about camping and all of that fun stuff. And then our paired selection is called how to make a s'more. So we'll see, I might buy the ingredients for s'mores and have us like make s'mores in class, but obviously not like use fire. <laughs> so just like plain marshmallows, I might do that. I also did find some, what are they called? like moon pies I think they're called from the Dollar Tree and they're like little mini ones and so I did buy those as a treat maybe later in the week so yes that's the game plan I have a bunch of stuff that I need to cut out with my Cricut this morning let me actually grab it so I can show you so I brought my math curriculum book home last night and then what I've been doing is if I have stuff that I need to bring to school that I've printed then I just like tuck it in the middle of the book so that way my papers don't get crinkled up in my backpack so anyways the things that i'm cutting out on my cricket this morning i'm cutting out puzzled penguin which he is from our math curriculum and then i'm going to put him on a little popsicle stick because we have our first puzzled penguin today so basically puzzled penguin he's always puzzled he's always confused and he always does the math problems wrong and then we have to fix them and then also i have this for a center that i need to cut out again with my cricket and then i'll laminate it and then I just have some like labels in here as well. And then this actually was supposed to stay at home, but I have my Spanish homework in there too. I've been taking Spanish classes through italki. Um, I feel like I've talked about it in previous vlogs. I don't know if I have though or not. So I will link it below if you're interested in checking it out. I'm in no way affiliated with them, but I do love it. I've been taking classes twice a week. I did it through the entirety of the summer and I'm continuing doing it now so it's been great i love 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 my tutor she's amazing and yeah definitely go check that out in the description box if you're interested in learning another language so anyways like i said i do have a lot to do this morning so i think i'm going to go ahead and get my cricket all set up actually i came in for just a little bit yesterday and i do have it set up still so that's good news so all i need to do is cut this stuff out laminate it and then yes i have a couple like paperwork things that i need to do this morning too i feel like there's like so much on my brain this monday morning i definitely had the sunday scaries yesterday because i just felt like i had so much to do but it will be fine it will all get done eventually i usually love mondays because mondays seem pretty chill to me because like i usually have everything ready to go for mondays but i feel like i worked a lot this weekend and i still don't have everything done which is fine but I will get there. Okay, anyways, now we're just listening to me rambling. So I'm gonna go do what I need to do. I hope that you're having an amazing day so far and I can't wait to share this week with you. So see you when I see you. Okay, hello sweet friends. Now it is Tuesday and I needed a little pick-me-up this morning and so did I pick up Starbucks yes I did I got again the ice chai light ice with pumpkin cold foam it's delicious it's amazing you need to try it if you haven't you probably have I feel like it's everywhere but it's so good and then I also got a little breakfast sandwich so Yes, I've been getting Starbucks about like once a week-ish, so this must be my day today to get it, which is very exciting, so I'm happy to have that. And now I'm just about to head to school. All right, I just got into my classroom. I'm already like half done with my chai because it is so good. I feel like I drink them so fast, which actually works out well because then I don't have to try to finish it like when the kids are here 
because then I end up like not finishing my drink. So anyways, it's fine. But right now it is only around seven o'clock. So I still have like an hour and a half before school starts, which is good because I actually lose my planning today because our reading specialist wanted to meet with me. She's meeting with all of the teachers who are either new or switch grade levels. So she's super awesome. So I'm excited to meet with her, but that will take probably my whole planning today. So I need to plan on that and then also it's raining right now so it might be indoor recess today we will see so I do need to run around and just finish up a couple of things just to make sure I'm like completely ready for the day I need to look back over my math lesson for today I've already like looked at it but I always like to like refresh the day of just so that way I know like exactly what I'm teaching so today is yesterday I did odd and even numbers today I'm doing doubles plus one or plus two can't remember if it's plus one and two in one lesson or if it's two separate lessons but anyways that's what I'm teaching today and I'm really enjoying second grade math it's been a lot of fun and I just love like teaching kids um, number sense and how to work with numbers and I don't know it's just been really fun so yes the thing that I don't like though is I do have math at the very very end of the day and we're given our schedule so we're not able to change it so the last thing I teach during the day is math and it goes all the way up until the bell rings so it always ends up getting cut a little bit short because obviously it takes us a while to like get our backpacks and put our folders away and like clean up the room and all of that stuff so I feel like math never ends up being as much time as it really should which is kind of a bummer but anyways, I need to do that this morning. That's really the only big thing I need to do. And then I might just run around and double check that all my copies are in order and all that fun stuff. So I'm gonna log into my computer a second. So that way I can get up everything that I need. And actually I have some fun mail that just came in. So I might share a little mail haul with you. So let me go grab that really quick. I brought a box in and then I already unboxed a couple things, but let me go grab those and I will share with you what has come in recently. So the first thing that I got are these little like link pieces and these are gonna be for my maker space. So the front just looks like that and you can like connect them together. And I liked the fact that you could make it into like a circle. So these are really cool. I've never used these before. So let's open them up and see what it looks like. Oh, these are cool. Okay, it comes with like a bag, but I probably will not use this cause I'll just put these right into my little stem bins. But this is what the bag looks like. So there's all these little connecty pieces. So these are super cool. So I think my kids will really like those. And I just wanted some more options for our maker space bins, our stem bins. And my students like love the stem bins, like love, love, love them. Whenever I whip them out, they just get like super excited. So yes, I'm excited to add those. And then also I got this book in the mail. I actually got this from the author, which I was super excited about. This is Cavities versus Toothpaste. And it's written by Dee Dee Dragon. And I follow her on Instagram and she is just super awesome. She's had a couple books come out. And yes, I just like love the illustrations, love the message behind it. I think I talked about in my last vlog, we had a person from a local dental office come in and do a presentation all about like cavities and protecting your teeth and so I will definitely have to share this with my students because they will find all sorts of connections and it's just like a good thing for them to know and then also from Amazon I picked up these little like translucent sheet what would you even call these they're like overlays basically and they're all different colors and basically how it works is like if students have difficulties seeing the text on a page, then you can try using different color overlays and see if any of those help them. Okay, and then the last thing that I got, I need to come over here to grab. It is this big box, I'm very excited. We get a little bit of money each year from our PTO and I'm like super grateful because at my old school that was not the case and at my new school it is. Where are my scissors? Here they are. And so anyways, I always try to buy a items that like I wouldn't normally buy myself if that makes sense because like I do spend some money in my classroom every year so I usually get like a bigger ticket item or something that like maybe I've wanted for a while but I just like haven't bought myself and something that like the students haven't bought or whatever you know what I mean so anyways this year I got a class set of headphones and I'm super excited so I ordered these off Amazon I believe I ordered a 24 pack. excuse me I believe I ordered a 24 pack which I only have 18 students right now, but I could have up to 30. So really this will only be a class set until I get more than 24, but that's okay. I don't think that will happen this year, fingers crossed. But anyways, they just came in this big box and I think what I'm gonna do is take a like silver Sharpie and write the number of the student right on them. So it will be like one through 18 or one through 24. 
and then I'm gonna put these right in their book bin because it will be really nice for them to all have headphones. I did put headphones on the student supply list. They're pretty comfortable, not too bad. Um, they have like the cushy part right there. But anyways, I did put um, headphones on my student supply list, but a lot of students did not bring them. So I thought it would be nice just to make sure that I have one for every student. And also it will be nice in future years to just have them already like ready to go. So yes, I'm super appreciative to my school's PTO for providing those. And really what they do is like they give us a set amount of money and then we can order whatever we want to order. And then we do like a reimbursement form. And so I'll need to do that reimbursement form still. And they don't give back like tax. So any tax that you had to pay on it, they don't refund that. But they'll refund like the base amount. So like I will still pay the tax on those, but that's totally fine. That's a great deal if I, that's all I'm paying for for those headphones. So yes, I'm super excited about those. I think I'm going to try to get those set up this morning if I have time. And maybe put those right into the students' book boxes. So yes I need to run around like I said and do a quite a bit this morning so I think this will probably be my only clip except for now that I'm thinking of it I can show you my outfit as well so let's go look in the mirror here we go okay so the lighting's kind of weird <laughs> but that's okay this shirt is from East Nash teacher it just says books are magical and then I just got this skirt it actually came in yesterday I got it from Amazon and it's like a little squirt so it has the shorts in it I don't love that it's like see-through enough that you can see where the pockets are but I do love that there's nice big pockets so that part's nice and then it's like nice and long it hits me right above my knee which I like because I'm like constantly sitting down by the kids and stuff like that and then my shoes are just the sandals I've been wearing every single day from Old Navy they're super comfortable I wish that they still carried them in these solid colors because I want a black pair really badly but I haven't been able to find one so anyways that's the outfit for today and now I have all the things to do so I will see you later good morning sweet friends it is now Wednesday I need to get logged into the computer still every day I start putting in the wrong password and then I have to change it <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I am so tired. Like, I am so, so tired this morning. I can just feel like, you know when you're really tired and you can like feel it behind your eyelids? Or like on your eyelids, I guess? That's what I feel right now. Like, I feel like I might need to take a little nap before the kids get here, but I will be okay. I'm just like having trouble keeping my eyes open. I have not been super great about eating breakfast at home. It's something I'm working on, but I have not accomplished just yet. So instead, I just grab food on my way out the door and then eat it in my classroom. So yesterday went really well. It was a busy day. It, like the days, they just fly by. Yesterday, I got the kids on our reading curriculums website for the first time, and it's a little bit hard for the kids to get onto. It's just not like super user friendly for the younger kids. Honestly, even like my fourth and fifth graders would have trouble getting on there at the beginning of the year. So I was really proud that we were able to get on there at least. But anything with technology, it takes more time. It feels like as well than just like. The normal amount of extra time for other things if that makes sense but I do have so many helpers and the kids are just so good about like jumping in and before I even ask them they'll like look over at their neighbor's computer and see if they need help and so eventually we all got on there but by the time that we got on we like didn't even have time for the activity that I wanted to do which is fine but now we at least kind of sort of a little bit know how to get logged on which is good so yes I'm thinking I might try to have them get on Chromebooks again today just because I think it's good practice for them to know how to like log in and know how to get to Google Classroom and like get to everything they need. What I really need to do is probably just have every kid like leave their Chromebook open right before lunch or something and then walk around and like bookmark everything. I think that would make things a little bit easier. So if you have any other hacks for kids and technology, definitely let me know. I'm like over here playing with my Clementine. But anyways, if you have any other ideas for things that make life easier with technology and kids, let me know. We do use Clever badges. So I don't know if that's something that my district pays for or if it's a free service but basically they have like a little QR code that they hold up to log in and it works for some websites as well so yes we have clever badges I'm trying to think what else yeah I need to bookmark stuff I have a lot of stuff on our Google Classroom which most of my kids know how to get to Google Classroom now which is good because we've only been doing that for like a handful of days so overall it's going well we did have indoor recess yesterday but my kids were like so excited to have indoor recess it was like actually so cute so I do have Disney Plus and Disney Plus is like the only streaming service that isn't blocked by my district and so I was able to play some Toy Story for them and then I just passed out coloring pages because we are still contact tracing um, we have been asked to not let the kids 
kids leave their seats during indoor recess. So they do stay in their seats, but I just put on a movie, gave them coloring pages, all that fun stuff. And I was in the room for part of the time. Um, we have our recess supervisors will like walk around to each room, but I just find that it's better if I just stay in my room because you know, things can just happen so quickly. And so I usually just end up eating in my room and then I'll work on whatever I need to work on. So I did run to the bathroom yesterday, but other than that, I just stayed in my room. So yes, that is the 411. That's what's going on. I feel like my voice probably sounds funny because I'm just so tired. I'm so tired. I would love to know, are you back into like a good sleep routine? Like, do you ever get into a good sleep routine? Because I am not in a good sleep routine right now. And I struggle because like last night, I just wasn't tired when it was time to go to bed. And I was like, I want to stay up and do stuff. And so I did, and now I'm paying for it. So it is what it is. But I will show you my outfit really quick in the mirror. And then I'm going to eat my breakfast and do all the things. I need to do some printing this morning. I need to do some prepping this morning. And so, yes. Anyways, let me pull you off my little stand. And we'll go look in the mirror. Here we go. Okay. The lighting is a little funky. I also still have my little cross bag on and my lanyard and all this stuff. So I need to get, you know, all my stuff situated, but I have not yet. So I'm wearing this little Be Kind rainbow shirt. This was um, from Etsy and I don't know the seller because actually one of my coworkers did like a big bulk order for a bunch of us, but it's super cute. If you search like Be Kind rainbow shirt, it probably will pop up, I would assume. But yeah, it's super cute. And then I got this squirt off of Amazon. I ordered this when I ordered my other white one and one of my coworkers wear skorts all the time and I'm like that's genius because then it has like little shorts built in super comfortable and also like cute like this will go with a lot of things and then I just have on my normal old navy sandals so nothing super fancy nothing super dressy but I do feel like because it's like a skirt it makes it look a little bit fancier even though I'm like super comfortable right now which is so fun so yes and then I just have my normal everyday rings on I have you know obviously engagement and wedding ring and then the rest of my rings are all from Pura Vida and that one is crooked we'll see if I can fix that hold on please hold please hold okay there we go kind of sorta so yes, there are my rings. And today after school, I'm actually gonna hang out with my best friend, Melissa. So I will try to film a little bit then. We're never good about filming when we're together, but maybe I will film a little bit with her. If you don't follow her page already, she is made for second grade here on YouTube, Instagram, all the places. So go check her out, she's awesome. Okay, I have things to do, so I will see you when I see you. Love Mommy it. made me do the little <laughs> last. Bestie alert, bestie alert. She's here. So Melissa and I have been hanging out. We went out and we got dinner at Culver's. We ate in the car. We ate in the car. <laughs> and we watched TikToks. I might grab a little like thank you card or something. We're sitting outside of Target right now. So we're gonna go in. We're gonna see what we find. Hello, sweet friends. So now it is the weekend, <laughs> which I know, I know, I know. I was going to try to do a better job filming this week and then life, it just caught up with me and I feel like I am so exhausted during the week right now. Like I am just, I'm still struggling. And I think I said in my last vlog that I wanted one of my focuses to be self-care. Yep, it did not happen this week. So maybe this next week I can focus more on self-care and yeah, I don't know. I'm just like so tired when I get home. I'm like too tired to even do things things that make me take care of myself if that makes sense like this morning I had to go around and do like putting all my laundry away and cleaning up my room and like all of this stuff that like I normally would just do during the week but I'm like so exhausted every night when I get home that it's like I don't even have the energy to like put my laundry away like I literally just like lay on the couch or like fall asleep on the couch and I don't like watch tv like I've never been a big tv watcher but like I'll literally just in silence fall asleep on the couch so it is what it is and then I wake up and I'm like oh I still have to like do this and do that and whatever and so I've been spending a lot of time like planning at home and prepping and I really want to get past that soon but I just I don't know I'm still like trying to stay above water so it's honestly been kind of a lot I've been feeling very overwhelmed but it's also been really good. Like I am loving this age. Like they are so much fun. They are so sweet. Like it's just, oh, they warm my heart every single day. And I always say, I'm like, oh, you, you all make me smile every day. And they really do. Like they just have so much love to give and so much like excitement and they match my energy level. Like I'm like dancing around the room and they're like dancing with me and we're just silly together. We do a lot of singing, which is so fun. So yeah, I'm really enjoying it. And I'm like, I'm looking around at their desks right now and I'm like, oh, 
just love them they're so fun so that's been really really good also yesterday was fun because as I'm filming this right now it's Saturday usually I come in on Sunday afternoons but we have plans tomorrow so anyways it's Saturday afternoon and yesterday we had our first afternoon professional development so my union negotiated a new contract for, I think it lasts for three years, I wanna say, I'm not entirely positive, but we got a new contract starting this year. And in our contract, it says that all of our professional developments need to take place during our contract hours. So typically they would take place like after school and ours used to be on Mondays. So like literally we would rush the kids out to the buses and have to like run back inside. And as soon as we got back inside, we needed to go to the library or go wherever. And we had to get there. There was like no time to eat a snack. There was no like downtime. So I'm like literally running my kids to the bus, like trying to quickly come back in and like set down all my stuff, grab my water bottle, go into the, you know, whatever, whatever room I'm meeting in. And it was just very like stressful. And now how we're doing it is about, I think it averages out to like one Friday a month ish. So about one Friday a month, the kids have an early dismissal on one Friday. And so they go home around like noon, right before noon. And we still do lunch in the classroom. So we eat lunch like from, like I think it's delivered around like 11. So we eat lunch and then we have like kind of um, just some chill time to like eat together in the classroom. And like we still keep working on stuff, but like, you know, we're eating in the classroom together. So it's like a good way to like build community. I feel like, like I love eating with the kids in the classroom, like every once in a while, I wouldn't want to do it every single day and have to do it, but like here and there, I really enjoy it. So anyways, we eat with the kids and then we take them out and it's just like really low stress. And then we came back in and we had a 30 minute lunch before we started our professional development, which was so nice. And I, Seriously cannot emphasize enough how much of a difference I feel like it made for me at least in my ability to focus during the professional development because typically I feel like I'm like checked out, like I'm not checked out necessarily because I really do, I like professional development, I like learning new things, I like, I don't know, growing and whatever, but it's just hard because I feel like I always have other things on my brain and I'm like getting parent emails and like there's all this stuff going on and like it's a, like in the past like I said it was Monday it's like Monday was a hard day to have to stay like late after school for these meetings and now it's on Fridays and it's like during our normal day and oh it just was so nice I felt like I was able to pay attention I was like really focused in on what I was supposed to be doing I wasn't thinking about like 10 million other things and then it was nice because when we left it just felt so much less stressful because like I didn't have to come back the next day I am back the next day but I didn't have to like wake up early and like start it all over again and it just seriously like oh it made such a huge difference like I can't even express like how much of a difference it made but I loved that and then I will say that also because it was a half day yesterday I had a lot of students who weren't here which was a bummer but I got like some parent emails saying hey you know we couldn't find transportation for today or hey they're going over to grandma's house for the day because there wouldn't be anybody at home and then I had a couple kids who had like appointments and stuff like that so I had seven kids gone seven kids and I'm only at 18 right now which is pretty low for my building and so actually it's very low for my building so anyways I only had 11 kids yesterday it was wild 11 kids like we honestly had so much fun together like obviously we missed the other kids but we had so much fun and I feel like we just like really bonded as like a small group like it was just so much fun and this past week in our curriculum we read a story about camping and like our main question of the week had to do with like nature and what can we discover by exploring nature and like all that fun stuff so anyways we did a camping theme day yesterday and I didn't do anything over the top like I would love to get to the point where I can do like room transformations and stuff I just do not have the energy right now so I have not been doing that <laughs> but I've been doing like small things here and there that are still fun and engaging but don't make me like lose my sanity so yesterday we put on we as in me I put on a YouTube video that was like camping sounds and you can find these for like anything seriously YouTube is amazing shout out to YouTube there are literally videos for everything so I searched camping sounds and then it was like a picture of like a tent whatever in the woods and you could hear like a bonfire and you could hear bugs and stuff and it was like very relaxing so I put that on and then I gave my kids flashlights so I have these flashlights from Amazon which I think somebody bought these off of my Amazon wish list my first year teaching I want to say they're really nice though and like the batteries have still lasted I don't use them like all the time 
but here and there they're super fun for the kids I also have like little finger lights I use sometimes but yes I wanted to do flashlights because I thought that was more fitting for like camping so every kid got a flashlight and then they picked their books we have three books that we can keep in our seat sack at once and then I let them change them out every single day if they want to so anyways they got out their books and then they found a good spot around the room and now at this point I've introduced all of my flexible seating so I have tons of flexible seating around the room and different options we have scoop rockers cushions all the fun stuff so they found their good spot they turned on their flashlight and of course we talked about like how do we hold our flashlight where do we not shine our flashlight like you know all that fun stuff so anyways they shined it on their little books they found their little spot around the room and then I turned off all the lights and they think it's so fun because I have my like little clicker you know so I can just like <gasps> turn off all the lights Ooh, that one doesn't turn off because that's like the front light but anyways now I can just turn them all back on but yes I turned off all the lights and it was so fun and we were like so focused on our reading and then I like hip hopped around and I listened to kids read just like one or two pages but it was so fun it was so fun so yes it was a fun day yesterday and I just like left feeling excited and happy and like I was doing something because like all day the kids were like Mrs. Hall's this day is so fun and I also got these like little mini moon cakes is that what they're called moon cakes moon pies I think they're called moon pies but anyways I found them at the dollar store in a pack of six in one pack and I got them each a little moon pie and we even had some extras so I had kids go around and like deliver them to teachers which was really fun but I figured that was like kind of close to s'mores without me having to like touch marshmallows and like chocolate and like put it in a baggie for them I wasn't like too keen on that so I gave them these because they were already like pre-packaged so each kid got a little moon pie as a treat and that was like our camping treat it was so much fun and those are just like little things you know little things but they were so fun so anyways I feel like I've been talking for like 25 minutes really it looks like it's been nine but still that's a long time so I will show you around and show you what I'm planning on doing today while I'm here. I don't want to stay super long, but I will stay for a little bit. We have plans tonight with some friends, so that will be fun. But yes, let me show you around. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Here is the kids attempt at putting away the flexible seating and it's not too bad We're still working on getting it like all nice and organized, but I do have scoop rockers I have little bath mats and then I have these wood cushions and I have these little like wobbly cushions I also have a big floor cushion in the back So lots of different options back here and then also some kids will pull out that pillow back there and move it around the room I also have my little rocking chair. That's definitely very popular my beanbag Sometimes two kids will try to sit on that during partner work, which is super cute And then I have my couch. Oh, I just realized I did not turn on my back room light yet I'm like, why does it look so dark back here? Okay, this is one of the many things that I need to do Maybe today, maybe just soon, but this back room just gets messy so fast. And so I need to do a little bit of straightening back here. And now I do have a couple desks back here because I have some students who work here for a small group. So I have a teacher who sits right here and then her papers are like over that way. And then her small group, she has two students who work back here. But I feel like I've just filled this room up too much. So I need to do some probably moving around. I need to do some purging and probably get rid of some things. I just have like too much going on. Like it's just a lot, you know, and it just looks really busy, I feel like, which kind of overwhelms me. And so I want to be able to use this for like students to work back here with an adult because, you know, we do have other adults in the building who can pull kids or I do have like a couple of college students who come in. So I love for them to be able to like work back here. But anyway, so yes. I have this front rug up here, so a lot of students work on this or enjoy working on that. Some students like to work on this stage. I have a couple of these stools. And then I also have, <laughs> this is how they put it back together, which is fine. It could be better, but it also could be worse. So I have a couple of body pillows and then I have a bunch of other just like random pillows, little rug, whatever. So they love when we're able to move around and sit around the room, it's super fun. Okay, so one of the many things that I hope to do soon, probably today, I think this is like the first thing I'm gonna tackle, is I need to just like organize this space because it's a lot. And then this closet, oh, this is so bad. I'm like exposing myself here, so please don't judge me. But, okay, in my defense, those cans are rinsed, I promise. So those cans are all rinsed. In Michigan, we recycle our cans, so I need to go bring them down to the lounge so they can be recycled. <laughs> but anyways, Yes, and I, I guess in other places they recycle their cans too, but in Michigan we actually pay a deposit on them And so we pay 10 cents per can and then we like when we return them we get money back And so anyways, I'm keeping those and then I always just give them to the school because I don't like taking them in And then the school can like get money for them 
that one. A coworker brought me a Diet Coke the other day and this one is clearly not rinsed so I should move that out so I can rinse that because that's kind of gross. But yeah, I just have a bunch of random stuff so I need to organize this to make it a little bit more functional because it is not very functional right now. Part of the problem is it's kind of hard to get to because I need to move my teacher chair to get to this and actually open it. So I don't really open it during the day when the kids are in here but it'd be nice to be able to in theory. So yes, I think I'm gonna work on organizing this like behind me space a little bit today. It's not gonna be perfect but just so it's like a little bit better, that would be good. I also bought some of these fun little pointer finger things from the Target dollar spot. I found three different kinds. I don't know if there's more, but I found three. And then I just purchased two of those ones because those ones are my favorite. But anyways, they're just like little Halloween pointers. And I'm going to use them year round to practice tracking because my students do have a pretty hard time tracking. A lot of them will like skip lines or skip words. Also, I did get a Diet Coke on the way from McDonald's, of course. So life is really good and now I think I'm ready to tackle these projects. And also I need to print stuff while I'm here because that's what I actually need to do. But this is more entertaining to me. So I'm gonna do this first. <laughs> Okay, so I am just about to head out, so I thought I would show you my back room and my closet and behind my desk and all that fun stuff to show you what I did. I didn't really set up my camera and film. I honestly didn't even think about it. I just kind of had my headphones in and I was like in the zone. So I apologize for that. In the future, I will try to record when I do fun stuff like that. Fun stuff. Fun as in like satisfying. It still is not perfect, obviously. Like I just have a lot of stuff, I feel like. And I need to kind of wrap my brain around the best way to organize. And I feel like every year it's like trial and error, but that's okay. So anyways, let me pop you off the tripod and let's go look around the room. Okay, so here is how the back room is looking. It's still not super great, but I did just like reorganize something. So at least there's more like walking room when you first come in. And I'm sure it does not look that different to all of you, but that is okay. It looks different to me. I know that I did some things. And so yes, that's how this room is looking. And then, over by my desk, I utilized some magnets just to organize some things on the side of my desk and I used all like black containers so it's not super noticeable. And then behind my desk, it's looking a lot better. Let me move over here. So if I stand over here, you can see a little bit better, but I just like reorganized those two shelves. I kind of switched things around and I'm gonna print some labels at home probably tonight or tomorrow for those three bins right there that accurately say what's like actually in them. And then my little closet right there, I tried to better organize as well. I feel like it's kind of hard to tell, but I promise it looks different. I promise it's reorganized. So yes, that's how that space is looking. And overall, I just think it's going to be a much better system. I was hoping hoping to scan everything in that blue binder while I was here today, but I don't really feel like staying any longer. And so that will have to be for another day. That is from another teacher. Those are some things that she created like years ago. And yeah, so um, she doesn't have a digital file of them, I don't believe. And so I was gonna scan them and email them to myself so I can have a digital file because I just am so much better at paper flow when it's like digital. <laughs> so there's no paper involved. And yeah, so anyways, that's what that's doing there. And then I have like my curriculum books will normally go in there, but I'm bringing those home this weekend and yeah so that's how this space is looking okay so that is all for this week's vlog i really hope that you enjoyed it if you did please take a moment and give this vlog a thumbs up and leave me a comment below and let me know if you have any organizational tips or tricks that might help me in figuring out how to organize all of my stuff I feel like I just have too much stuff. So I think a big part of the problem is I just need to go through everything and like get rid of stuff that I don't need or use anymore, but that will come when it comes and today is not the day for that. So anyways, I hope that you are doing well. I hope that you are having the best day, the best week. Whenever you are watching this, I hope that you are just doing really, really well. I really hope that for you. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.